doing free code camps, JavaScript algos and data structures, and we are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 60 of 113. So today we are going to uh, com use comparison with the equality operator. Okay, so basically this is just saying that there's many comparison operators in JavaScript. All of them return a boolean, a true or false value, when you're comparing two two things. Um, the most common one is the double equal sign. So that's an equality operator, and it returns a true or false value. Uh, true if they're equivalent, false if they're not equivalent. And it is different from an assignment operator, the single equal sign, which assigns a value. So double equal sign is a comparison, single equals assigns. All right. So this example is basically just showing us that we have a function. It takes in a uh, argument called myVal. We're saying if myVal double equal sign so if my val is equal to 10 it'll execute this code in this block and it's going to return equal and then if this comparison here my val equals 10 if that is not true it'll return false so this code will not execute and it'll simply run the remaining code outside of that block which would return not equal um, so this down here is basically just saying the data types must be the same to compare it to um, if they are not the same, we have to convert them so they are the same to compare them. Uh, so for this challenge, it looks like we're just going to use the equality operator so that the function will return equal when the value is 12. And in this challenge, we see we have a function test equal that takes in a value. And we're currently saying if val, execute this, and it'll say equal. And if it is not, if this condition is not met, it will simply run what's remaining, and that will return not equal. Um, all right. So it looks like what we all we have to do is change the condition. So this is just saying if val, meaning if the value is not undefined. So if there is a value in val and it's not undefined, it will return equal. And we want to change that with the equality operator, so that if val is equal to 12 it will then return equal, not if val simply exists. So instead of simply seeing a val existed as it did originally, we are now saying if value is equal to 12, return equal, because that is inside the code block. And if this condition is not met, it will simply return not equal. Um, and in this test example, it will actually return not equal. So if we console.log this one, we are returning not equal. And then if we actually meet the condition uh, that was defined here, and we put in 12, it will return equal because it is meeting our condition, thusly executing this block of code. And it is a return statement in that block of code, which means the return ends the function and it never even reaches this code. All right, so that's all we should have to do here. And it looks like we completed it. Hope that made sense, and I'll see you all in the next lesson.